What's up everybody and welcome to my Impact Wrestling Review. Yes, I am a couple of days late on this and I really need to stop that. And I know it's been a lot of... Crap. No, it's been a lot of news in regarding to management changes of Don Callis uh, from New Japan for Wrestling Commentator, aka Cyrus, and uh, Scott Diamore, or sorry, Scott Damore, um, pretty much being the... Um, Vice president, both of the vice presidents now, I believe, executives. And if you want to know more about the differences they're trying to put in, go look, make sure you listen to Jericho's podcast because he was able to sit down and speak with them. So it is a good listen to and knowing a little bit more. But as they pretty much get in to the show, huh? The show. Hmm. Getting to the show itself. Alberto El Patron pretty much cut a promo. Uh, talking about Johnny Impact. Saying he was a barrel. Well, pretty much him and um, Eli Drake on him. A paper champion. And he says he's going to get revenge. And destroy both of them into his CCC thing in the back. So, Pro was just pretty much there coming after both of them. <clears throat> so, uh, Alberto pretty much going out, going after um, Impact and Eli Drake. Uh, Caleb Conley went against Taiji Ishimori. Uh, pretty much a good match. Um, Ishimori pretty much hit the. Um, uh, pretty much uh, hit a uh, 450 for the win, so it wasn't a bad match. To pretty much, really, really good match, right? We had McCauley. Uh Trevor Lee pretty much came out and hit the put the boots to um, Ishimori, taking him out. As both him and Kyle Conley start beating the crap out of him. Next thing you know, Desmond Xavier came out for the save. So pretty much kind of basic booking, booking right there. But I believe Ishimori is next for a shot at the X Division title. But a really good match also. Pretty much um, showcasing both guys. And uh, pretty much progressing more this feud between Trevor Lee and uh, Taji Shimori. I uh, hope they can do better with um, Lee's title reign because every time the Lee gets the title, it looks like it hasn't worked out um, sometimes with him. So hopefully they can get credible with this going against Ishimori. Uh, Sienna versus Rosemary versus Allen in a triple threat for a number one, well, not number one, but in a tournament like thing to see will face Laurel Van Ness next week. For the Knockout Vacant Knockout Championship, which is actually a really good match. Uh, pretty much Rosemary and Allie pretty much trying to take on Sienna with that double submission and both of them going at each other. I thought it was a really good match, especially Rosemary dodging um, Allie's code breaker into a red wedding for the win. Um, so all, pretty much all three women did really work really hard. So it was actually a really, a really, really great match. I, w I will say that. Um, Sienna, for some reason, just kind of feels almost there, even though she just lost the title. Even though she used to be Maria's bodyguard, she just kind of... I, I don't know, she's just kind of around half the time for some reason. But, uh, Rosemary did pick up the win, so it will be Rosemary versus Laurel Van next, next next week. Crazy versus crazy, I guess. Uh, OVE were in the ring, and Sammy Callahan... Pretty much um, was doing most of the talk. Talking about old Canada is a load of crap. Lucha Libre, LAX is a load of crap. And pretty much talking about Canada. He's pretty much getting some very good heat from the crowd. Booing at him. And, you know, this gang warfare and everything. And, you know, the titles will be on the line soon enough. Until um, they were about to say, We are Ohio. And. Pretty much fans understand the heart of America was actually fans actually rolled their eyes at that really once he said that. Um, Callahan pretty much said that um, Ottawa is the the big asshole of Canada. That's where they were at until these Canadian guys called TDT came out speaking in French Canadian also, and Sammy told him to hey speak American okay, we don't understand y'all until the TDT TDT guys started beating up the Chris Brothers 
uh, Sam and Callahan came back with a Kindle stick and then they set up some chairs in the ring, which they probably could have impelled this guy, but um, hit the what was it all CNI move it was called, which it looked dangerous. I didn't know who was ever get really hurt right there. But some type of triple move. LAX then hit the ring. Um, pretty much homicide came in with the Kindle stick and when you see Conan get the Kindle stick, um, he pretty much came in and his Callahan duck. He literally threw the Kindle stick at a fan and looked like looked at least a fan um, pretty much blocked with his arm. But that could have been a very bad situation there. So I agree he got sued too. So it, it looked really bad with um, Conan pretty much hitting a fan with the um, Kindle stick. It just kind of came out of nowhere, just knocked him with it. But um, I don't know whether why they, they gave these TDT guys a lot of um, almost again it gave them um, a little bit too much offense over the uh, the champions um OV, OVE. So at least this whole feud with LAX and OVE is working out better now. Sometimes the best feud they got going on because at first this feud really sucked, but Sammy Callahan brought the juice and and you know coolness and not make these guys look lame all the time now. So I will give them that. Um, they played their Pluto TV of the week, which low key or Senshi or you, you know low key is weird with him in TNA. You know I've said this a while when he came back. It's like it's like low key is here for one minute and he leaves. He's here for one minute and he leaves. He's here for one minute and he leaves. And I really did like this incarnation of low key with the Hitman age of 47 and being part of LAX, which probably again yeah, won't need a world title. But it's like they bring him in. He's even a group where he's doing something else. And then he's just gone again. I don't know. Loki's strange to work with, probably. Um, Allie was really sad about her match. Um, with, um, yeah, early in the night, Gail Kim pretty much told her to, um, you're new Allie now. And said, it's your time. And she pretty much walked away inspired. K KM beat up these guys in the gym probably local indie wrestlers which look kind of funny because they were still working out while he's beating them up and he says is this good enough now america's top team so you know he's winning gym and beat up everybody so at least this looked better i will say that it's almost not like moose walking in and getting beat up after he walked in there so maybe they're doing something with cam lax was in the back as um everybody else when we get inside the titles and Conan said, you know, we're going to go one-on-one -on -one with Sammy Callahan. All right, that's what we're going to do. And, you know, until Homicide, bring the security guy, you know, TSA, check these guys for weapons, anything, man. You know, thumbs up, thumbs down. He's going to get thumbs out of his ass if he doesn't uh, do, you know, the deal we're trying to do. He's going to make an offer. He's, we can't, he can't refuse. That's why you have to move that product because, you know, in the hostile territory, sometimes in the streets, you know. So, you know, this is... You know, we're going to make it business, but Sammy wants to make it personal. So, we'll see what happens next week. Which will probably will be crazy cinematic with both Conan and um, Sammy Callahan. Almost like a sit-down. In a way, see where we're going to go with the titles and stuff. Uh, Eli Drake and C uh, uh, Chris Adonis were pretty much cutting a promo on the back about Jenny Impact, Alberto, and P. Williams and stuff. Pretty much talking about them. Telling them to take them to the gravy train as the cost of DNA. Drake and Adonis, uh, EC3 went against Matt Seidel for the, M the Grand Impact Grand Championship. Falaba was on commentary, which is actually a really great match. We ended in a draw decision, so it, at least it looked really good. You'd think it just would have favored an EC3, but it didn't. So, y you know, this the whole Impact thing with these MMA-like rules, it's still weird because, like I said before, it's like the match gets up and going somewhere, and then next thing you know, it kind of you know slows down because of these round point systems so it can't be done the right way and this was a better showing of this so we'll see where this goes since he beat matt seidel but you know i'm always not showing that whole grand championship thing they played a flashback from final guard 2012 which was a really good year with bobby Roode and james storm very crazy match with i remember that match a lot of blood a lot of chair shots with and trash can shots to the head so I remember mean, it was just a really crazy match. I I did enjoy that match at Mount for Glory. Park and Park, Ethan Page and Joseph Park cut more promos. If they have a real number, you can actually call that number. 615-492-4883 and get some Park and Park insurance. Dan Lambert and Bobby Lashley against Moose and Storm. 
Oh man, you know, Storm and Lashley and uh, Moose in the ring, really good. Um, I just don't like that Lashley is with this Lambert. Even Lashley looked Lambert at the last minute when he got the pin. I hope Lashley turns on him. I really do. Because they just need to get him away from this Dan Lambert. I gotta get him back. You know, I, you know, I don't know how many times I can say this every week about Lashley being in the title picture because he desperately needs to be back in the title picture. But this, he just needs to be back. Like, this whole America's Top thing ain't working with him. Dan Lambert, yes, he's a good promo. But, like I said before, Lashley is not in the mouthpiece. Lashley needs to be the world champion. Chip, and, and it would be better if he was facing Storm and Moose for the world title. That'd be a better match. Uh, Johnny Impact actually cut a pro better promo than he said last week. And, you know, took Timmy's and Hortons and, you know, kicking around the Impact Zone. So, um... Pete Williams also talked about Canada and everything, you know, Fact of Life being a sitcom. So it was a better promo this week. But in the main event, Eli Drake and Chris Adonis went into Pete Williams and Johnny Impact. Uh, pretty much a good main event match. Pete Williams and Impact won. Starship Pain on Chris Adonis. After that, Alberto attacked Eli Drake with the title and started beating him up. So, yeah, but they, they still, some people complain that Eli Drake needs to be stopped being presented as a weak champion because he can't keep getting beat up every week nearly at the end of the show, making him look like an idiot sometimes. And he's the world champion. They gotta build this guy up with a little bit more credibility, in my opinion, than, you know, have him, you know, beat up throughout most of the match. So they really need to do a little bit better with Eli Drake. You know, there's a lot of more tapings coming in January, so watch out for that. Um. That's the thing to catch because you know how long these are, um, Ottawa tapings going. This was a better episode, at least, but I am looking more forward to see what this whole LAX and OVE thing is going on in the show right now. And maybe the world title itself. But they still need to do a lot better. Make sure you look at that interview with Scott the Moore and uh, Cyrus there on Jericho's podcast. You may learn a lot of positive changes. They, I'm really hoping they do bring better positive changes and some type of good management skills because this company really needs it right now. With all the crazy changes that have been happening and what's been going on, and they really need it. I know Pop TV's not going to give them ratings. I heard they're doing, I heard somebody say they're doing good on Twitch and so they have more views than they did on, uh, on, um, on Pop TV. Like I said, for everyone has that Pop TV, okay? They really don't. So it was also hard to catch up with this show, and we're all probably watching on the internet. But hey, that's what I got to say about that. Once again, comment, subscribe. You know, it's me, it's me, the HWD, coming up with the news reviews. We're done with this today, and this is my review of TNA. I am out of here. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.